Okay, this is a question from Josh from Vancouver. And he says, on what biblical basis do folks like C.S. Lewis in The Great Divorce develop the idea that those in hell might still be given the opportunity to choose heaven? Does that make him a universalist? Ah, ah. Hmm. Hello, Josh from Vancouver. Well, you know, there actually has been, um, uh, throughout most of church history, the dominant view has been not that there's... That God's not done with people at death. Now, they made a distinction between hell and purgatory, and I don't want to get into the whole purgatory thing, but, but that wasn't just a groundless belief that the Catholics just kind of came up with. They had some scripture that they interpreted to support that, the idea that, there's, there, that God continues to work with people. Um, and so you, you find um, uh, you know, some of Jesus' teachings, for example. He, he, there's uh, it's kind of a punishment involved, but it comes to a definite end. Uh, so, for example, he says that the servant who knows to do good but doesn't do it will be beaten with many stripes, but one who uh, didn't know will be be- beaten with uh, fewer stripes. Or, and he says, make, make peace with your, your brother while, while you're on the way, uh, lest he takes something against you and brings you to the judge and he throws you into jail. You don't get out until you've paid the very last penny. But you do get out. And so there, there's a number of teachings that, that have been used to kind of support that. There's also a few that, uh, have, that are really interesting. Uh, like, is it First Peter or Second Peter where Jesus descends into the, uh, he uses the word for hell there, tar- Tarsus, I think uh, it is. First Peter 3. And he preaches to the spirits that are in prison. Um, and, and so there's, there's been some, or, or Paul says in Ephesians 4, that uh, Jesus went to the lower regions of the earth and led captivity captive. And there's a number of ways of interpreting those, but those are the kinds of verses that are used to support the idea that God isn't necessarily done with everybody uh, at the moment of death. There's something more to work with, in some cases at least. Yeah. At least that was In fact, one of the other main verses on this is 1 Corinthians 3, that you know, no matter what you do with it, you gotta do something because it's, it's, it's the idea that all people, including Christians, uh, will be finding themselves before the judgment seat of Christ. Uh, and in this particular one in 1 Corinthians 3, he's talking about believers. And he says that our works will be tested and that those that are like hay and stubble will be burned up but those that are of Valuable metals and precious stones will, will survive it. And what the Catholics did is they just said, why think that, that burning, because like, it says, test it as through fire. And the Catholics said, why think that burning is going to take 20 minutes? Uh, and thus their doctrine of purgatory it could take thousands of years. You know, Protestants have tended to say, no, the judgment seat of Christ and that, that sort of testing is, 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 is a quick thing. And so, but, but there are a lot of texts that have raised this question of what is God what, what might happen on the other side of death that God's still involved with us in? Now, back to this Lewis question, was Lewis a universalist? See, the problem is when Lewis, what we're talking about is a great divorce since a novel he wrote. And so to try to read you know, straight doctrine from a, a piece of literary fiction is always dangerous. But what Lewis had is he had a bus ride to, uh, the people could, in hell could go on a bus ride to heaven. And it turned out when they got there, they didn't want to stay, which, which really fed into Lewis's theological point that he did make in the problem of pain, which is hell is locked from the inside. His point well, is... one guy made it. Well, yeah. yeah. One, one guy stayed. Most people, though, they, they given the druthers, they'd rather go back to hell. You say, well, that doesn't make sense if hell is, is terrible. No, it's just that as terrible as hell is, heaven is even worse for people who don't want to love and worship God. And, and in a sense, hell becomes a place, really the garbage dump thing fits really well here. It becomes the last place where what could have been human goes because the place that they were meant to be heaven just doesn't fit for them. They realize it, and everyone there realizes it. It's, it's an interesting... And that's why C.S. Lewis says, if hell is locked, and it is for some people, but not necessarily for all, but if it's locked, it's locked from the inside, uh, the rebellion of the human heart. 